and welcome to my channel. My name is Caitlin and today we're doing a holiday apartment tour. I'm so excited to finally take you around the apartment and show you how I've decorated for the holidays. I had so many ideas of videos I wanted to do, like a home decor haul of all the holiday stuff that I've been buying to add to our collection as this year is only the second year in this apartment that we've been living on our own and a decorate with me and then maybe even a holiday tour. But this time leading up to the holidays, for my family has been so crazy and like a little stressful so um unfortunately i wasn't able to do any of that but i definitely wanted to bring something to you guys so i'm excited that i'm able to film this for you so i'm so excited to bring you around the apartment please if you haven't already consider subscribing to my channel it would mean the world to me your support means the world and the likes and comments just make me so so happy and i'm so thrilled to be making videos for you and just sharing everything that i've been doing to decorate my very first apartment lastly i'm just going to say that i still am I am planning on doing a uh, regular apartment tour in the new year so I'm not going to be touching on a lot of the other furniture pieces that stay like all year round I'm really just going to be showing you the new pieces and old pieces that I have bought this year and last year and how I decorated for the holidays so definitely stay tuned for the regular apartment tour which I will film in the new year and yeah I'm so excited for that as well so definitely subscribe and I won't talk any longer I just want to get on with the tour I did film this a second time so if you notice that my hair is blonde <laughs> in the other clips I got my hair done yesterday so and I had to refilm the intro because I didn't like it so <laughs> I'm doing this take two but I hope that you enjoy and even though it's pretty late in the season maybe this will give you some inspo for next year or if you're just curious to see how I would decorate for the holidays then this video is for you so yeah let's just get started on the tour so here is an overview of the living room so just spinning you around we have this little shelf here i got this star originally for our for our tree but i didn't love how it looked so um and their return policy was like not the greatest so i just stuck it up here and then i'll keep both of them and since one is like new um i'll keep one of them and then we can kind of go back and forth through the years maybe and use this one in the future otherwise there's not really much um other christmas stuff i got this last year it's like a spray hand hand sanitizer which i thought was really cute for the front door and then this is like a mask spray that i got in a goodie bag so i just kind of leave those things but otherwise not really christmasy i also got this as at a christmas market um little oh it was only 15 bucks green moonstone so cute so i love having that up there and then the closet door, we have this wreath. I absolutely loved having a wreath here last year. And now I went a little wreath crazy this year. But this is a faux cedar one from Canadian Tire. I tied this black velvet bow and I wanted it to be like really long and dramatic. And then I cut these from a garland that you'll see what I did with the rest of them. And yeah, I know that these are really popular, so I didn't get, I didn't have a really nice wreath last year, so I'm happy that I have this set up this year. And then this is kind of our entryway table. So I sanded this table down and I never like sealed it, so I'm a little bit pissed off about like these watermarks, but uh definitely i can re-sand it and then stain it um or sorry and then seal it but for now this is what we're working with so i just have these two different size christmas trees they're both from home sense and they are a little bit sparkly which is kind of fun i think they're slightly different um like this one's a little bit more sparkly but i really love having the two different sizes here 
I also got this bowl from Worth Home. It's not Christmassy, but I got it during this time. <laughs> and I would normally have this probably pushed off to the side, but this console has a hole in the middle of it. So that's why I need to keep um, this stuff in the middle. Otherwise, again, I would have the trees here and then that moved over, but it's still super cute. And then I just have a Christmas candle burning, the marshmallow fireside. It smells so good and I love having scents in the house. It's really important to me. And then this isn't really Christmas, but it's kind of like a big, thick, nice Christmassy blanket that we have there. And then let's go into the living room. So as you can see, this little wonky thing here, this is an ottoman from my boyfriend's parents house they just had it in their basement and we really want a chaise couch so we just um brought that over and then i put a blanket and a fur throw over top of it and i think it's really nice and definitely the coffee table is too big um but we do eventually want to switch out the coffee table and get a different couch so this has kind of been fun especially while we're on vacation it'll be nice to have like a spot to put our feet up that's comfortable anyway then moving on to the coffee table i got this bowl as kind of an early christmas present from my boyfriend because our cat broke our other paper mache bowl so uh my boyfriend got me this one from heirloom shop it's absolutely stunning and then these are the bell garland that i was talking about so i just cut them all off the jute and just have a bowl of bells. Definitely the theme this year is bells because I went a little bell crazy. I also got this huge one and I didn't really know what to do with it because I didn't read the dimensions, but I just have it on here. Also from Heirloom Shop. This came with another bell, so I just cut it off and hot glued it so it doesn't come like that. It comes with just jute, but I think that this is pretty cute for now. I just have this book resting on this gold book stand from Indigo. And moving on to our tree, I am a little bit disappointed with the tree this year. The lights just were not cooperating and this tree is from Ikea. We got it a few years ago and it's just really sparse, which I actually do like. I just think it's too small but I will show you the ornaments that we got this year. So I got these really beautiful green velvet ornaments from H&M. These came in just last week. So I absolutely love them. I got four of them. So there's another one, another one, and another one. So they were put on kind of late. Um, but I think it really helps to add a little bit of something like more dimension, I guess. But obviously the theme is gold, white, and I guess now a little bit of green. Oh, and then wood. So another new ornament this year is I got two of these super cute wooden nutcrackers. I love them so much. Where's the other one? Oh, there's the other one. Then again, this year, some new ones are also some more bells. There's this shape and then also this shape. And these were like $5 each. So cute. I should have got more if they have them next year. Or maybe I'll like look when the season's over and see if I can order some more. I think like at least two more would be super cute. Then this year, I also rub and buffed these. So these ones looked like these pearl iridescent ones but i ended up rub and buffing them because we needed some more gold and i could not be happier with them they're so gorgeous i've been rub and buffing everything for the holidays it's so funny i should point out i'll point out everything that i've rub and buffed yeah another oh shoot i have to this is reminding me i have to order milo a new ornament because we have this from for bowie i got this ornament from dear monday it's like a custom ornament so i need to order a matching one for milo i really need to get on that i'll put it in his stocking <laughs> And then I think lastly for new decorations, I made this O decoration. So if you watched my decorate with me last year, you'll know that I got this O ornament and we're doing like what Brandy Jackson and her husband do. They do it for every year they've been married, but I'm going to do it because we're not married yet for every year that we've 
uh, live together. This is our second year and this is our O ornament. I just decided to make it because I didn't find any that I loved. So yeah, I'm really happy, I guess, with the ornaments, but I wish we had a better tree. So I've already warned Colin that next year we are buying a new tree. Oh, and this is the ornament that I got to replace the other like vintage one. So this is the Jillian Harris one and it was only $25. And I think that it was a much better like height and size for our tree. Please hold while I deal with Bowie. And then actually you're not really gonna be able to see it, but last year I bought this basket and that's what we put our tree in. And then I just have a knitted blanket there in the bottom. Before we got the ottoman, I had this sheepskin rug here like faux sheepskin and it looked so beautiful to have the presents on the faux rug but this is definitely better than what i had before so i'm very happy with that and then also specifically for christmas i use these green velvet they could definitely use a little wash these green velvet pillows from ikea and i just really love them for the holidays and then moving on to the like TV stand here, the Nutcracker, I got it last year or even the year before, but I don't love that it's white. So I'm gonna rub and buff that. I just haven't gotten around to it and then it will match the bells more. But I got these two paper accordion trees from Crate and Barrel last year. And a lot of places are doing these trees. Like I've seen them at Indigo and maybe even Michael's. And they're fairly inexpensive. They just add a lot to the space. I really like them. Usually I style them together, but I'm trying something different this year. So I got this set of three bells from Amazon. They just came in this um, week, this last week. So they all came with jute, but it was a lot. So I took jute off one of them. And I just have this kind of vignette and then that one there and it will look much better when this is painted and I'll come back and put a clip in so you can see. And I got these really beautiful candles from H&M. It's kind of like an advent calendar countdown, I guess, to Christmas. So I've been a little bit slacking with them and I kind of settled for these ones because I wanted this other candle, but I couldn't find it. And then after I ordered these, I saw that H&M had them. So I'll show you what that would look like as well, which I'm obviously gonna need to use next year, but it came with all of these. And then I already had this pedestal, which I think looks really nice to prop them up and kind of make that the centerpiece. Then I have my garland and I'm really happy with how it turned out because originally I'd gotten the matching one to the wreaths, but it just wasn't looking like how I wanted it to. So I got this from Foliage and it was pretty expensive, but hopefully I can keep these for years to come. I got two of them. You'll see where I put the other one. And then these stockings. So so these stockings are these knit ones. We had three up here last year, and that was just because it was me, Colin, and Bowie. And then this year, we got Milo. So Milo, of course, needed his own stocking. So I saw these two green ones at HomeSense, and they were like $12 each. So I picked those up and then now me and Colin have the knit ones and the boys have the green ones. And then if uh, whenever we have a kiddo, we can bring out our third knit stocking. The knit ones are from Moe's Knits on Etsy. And if you're local, she also does lots of markets. Um, but I think you can just order online at Etsy and her stuff is beautiful. She actually knitted that white knit blanket I showed under the console table. So overall, I'm super happy with how this turned out. Just love how relaxed and flowy the garland is. And then coming into our kitchenette area, I have this vase with some more faux greenery. So this is the matching greenery to the garland and they were 20 bucks a stem. So I don't think it was that bad and they're absolutely beautiful i absolutely love them so much and then i also have 
this super adorable candle that's in like a Christmas tree dough bowl. And this was from HomeSense for about, I want to say it was 16 or like 12, something like that. But I got this all the way back in September. And it's because I saw, I think, one last year that was really expensive. And so as soon as I saw this, I knew that I had to get it. And then this is actually a new furniture piece, which I'm so excited about. So this is kind of like our little makeshift island. And then I keep some candles in here. And yeah, I just absolutely love this piece. We got it off Facebook Marketplace just the other day. So it's a perfect addition. And then normally this tree is in the dining room. So when I do the official apartment tour, I'll put that I'll be able to put this back and then our bar cart is usually here so that's now in the dining room and so basically we've had to rearrange a bunch of stuff but yeah this is actually a really cute little picture right here so yeah i don't mind this here i just don't really like these two things together but yeah anyway i didn't really decorate the kitchen uh, the only kind of thing that I've decorated is I've put our Christmas tea towels here and we got a new always pan. So now it looks kind of Christmassy. Uh, that is not intentional. Just a sprinkle of Christmas in the kitchen and then in the dining room. So like I said, this is usually where our olive tree is, but we've put our bar cart here and I got this candle from home sense as well and i just decided to light it last night <laughs> and it's actually a really beautiful lit over here especially in the evening and then i actually bought these from the dollar store because heart interiors on instagram got them for her daughter's room and unfortunately i just don't really know where i could put this at first i thought maybe i could put it in the kitchen but it just didn't work out but I'm gonna keep it and then we'll see if I'm able to do something with it next year. And then of course the bookshelves, I actually just did this. So this whole section here is from Michaels. So the wreaths were like $5 each and then I got this cheapy um, black, just like regular ribbon and then these cute little houses. So these were 50% off and they were $20, but I got them for $10. And I originally was going to paint the doors different colors because I'm not the biggest fan of red. But I actually, it wasn't really working out. <laughs> so I was able to wipe off the paint. But I actually kind of do like them red because it's obviously traditional. And they look kind of cute like this. I just did this today because, um, again, I had, before I rearranged everything, I had one of these in the dining or in the kitchenette but i think it's really cute the symmetry and then the only other christmas thing i have in here is this little ikea tree and i actually rub and buffed the bottom so now it looks like it's in a little gold pot and it's just so cute it was like five dollars and i actually have another one and you'll see where i have that but yeah this is also i really this year just wanted like a little sprinkle of christmas in every room so that's what i did and rather than last year like i basically just decorated the dining room kitchen and living room so now i've sprinkled it throughout the whole apartment and i'm super happy so i actually she used to say that these were my favorite part of the apartment and they still are one of my favorite parts but we have added a new addition and let me just show you i redid the hallway so the hallway was actually one of the places that we left unpainted when we moved in so i recently painted uh the hallway to match the rest of the apartment and chantilly lace and we hung up this beautiful gallery wall, which I'm just so thrilled about. And then, of course, I had to jazz it up for Christmas. So I added these little cedar pieces and these maroon bows. And I cannot be more obsessed. I love it so much. And then, of course, 
if I wanted to go crazy, I for a minute wanted to put a wreath on every door, but I just stopped myself. So this is the door to the bathroom, which we always have closed because of our cat. And so this whole living room is just, oh my God, I just love it so much. I could sit here and just stare at it all day because this hallway has been just like so dreaded and ugly for the whole time that we've lived here. And now it's so beautiful and I smile every time I walk down. So this is just your reminder that if you're renting, don't settle. Just do what you want to do because your home should be a place that you want to be all the time. So let me show you how I decorated the bathroom because yes i did and i just have another canadian tire wreath it lights up the batteries i'll turn it on for you the batteries are not the best in this one so i just need to replace them but it's super cute when it's lit up and again i've got a bell okay my dog is following me with his treat uh this is the bell that that strap came on that I cut off and then another one of these little maroon bows and it's so beautiful I love it so much and let's go into the bathroom so first we have this super cute towel super cute hand towel it's got black christmas trees on it so my mom actually got these from home sense and i was like oh my god i'm obsessed i love it and she graciously gave me the second one <laughs> um if i'm at home sense and i see more i'm gonna pick them up because i think two would be super cute beside each other but i will take what i can get because those are adorable then i just have this little arrangement i actually still have the price tag on it um because like i said i wanted to do a haul for you guys but i got it was i think okay so it was 25 dollars, but i got two things i got this and that garland that i chopped off and so it was buy one get one free so i think the garland was cheaper so technically the garland would have been free and i would have paid for this and i think it just adds a nice touch to the bathroom and then this is not really Christmassy, but I just got it also at that sip and shop. So this is hand lotion from my mom's friend's company, Body Food. So I have the hand wash and then we can do a cute little lotion and it's in patchouli bergamot, which I think is kind of like a Christmassy vibe to me. And then I also have this little velvet maroon reindeer and that's actually from the dollar store and i have two of them so you'll see where i have the other one and then yeah there's nothing really if i had more of those um stems i think it would be cute to have like a greenery moment over here but for now this is just what it looks like and that's it for the bathroom okay and then coming into the bedroom something i did not decorate last year so hello this is the other garland and then i was able to pick this cute little garland up or what is it called i don't know this bell moment from heirloom shop and then i just kind of hung it on there and i absolutely love having the greenery in the bedroom again it's something that we didn't have last year and so i really love that and then my mom actually gave me this tree last year or sorry in this little house last year and i just have it on this little ledge here with the other maroon reindeer and i think it's so cute it's like not really my style out in the living room so i like that it's a little bit different and we have some pops of color moving on to the bed i just picked this up from ikea and i got it from the as is section for 35 dollars, and it's regularly 50 so i really love this i usually have a different one on this bench so i like that i can seasonally change it out i think that's so fun and then i also hung this wreath up here and I actually did this because this isn't the one that's going here, but I ordered, I'll put a picture. I ordered one off Amazon and it still hasn't come yet, but I really wanted to film this for you guys. So I just took one of the Canadian tire ones and popped it on here. 
but my hope is that the Amazon one matches the garland a little bit better. Um, anyway, then I just have this little corner. So I actually ordered this book off Amazon because I wanted to put it on the coffee table. It's the night before Christmas, but I didn't like the way that it was looking. So I just popped it in the bedroom and I think it's like a little cute touch. And then also I got this stunning blanket from anthropology and it's so beautiful i had it in the living room but it just wasn't like making sense and it's such a gorgeous blanket it, i've been calling it like my christmas granny blanket because i just feel like it's something like a grandma would have draped on the back of their couch but it's so cute and i love that there's like a pink house in it and the christmas tree and it's just so beautiful so i think that's super cute and sweet and my vanity is something that I'm still working on, but just to jazz it up for Christmas, I added these super cute yarn trees that have little gold stars on them. And these are also from Moe's Knits, who did the stockings and blanket. And yeah, I just love them so much. And then they have little tiny pieces of birch on them. So that is everything that I did for the apartment. Hi Milo. And the bedroom. And I'm just super happy with everything. And yeah, I especially love our gallery wall. All right, and that is it. Thank you so, so, so much for watching. And I hope you have the best holidays and best time with your family. And I will see you in the new year. Thanks. Bye.